what you do. Sure. My name is William Beckett, and I sweat for a living. <laughs> it's true. What has been your most memorable moment touring? Um, that's such a difficult question to answer. I mean, I've been touring for almost a decade now, so that's an incredibly difficult question. I would say right now, because I like to live in the moment, um, right now is just every day on Warp Tour has been, you know, a new memory, new friends, old friends coming together, new fans, old fans coming together, new music, old music coming together. I mean, I think it's just a, it's like a perfect storm of, uh, of, of new and old. What is your favorite place to perform? A stage. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, there's like certain places where I always, I, and like, not to, I'm not saying this just because we're here, but New Jersey's always been extremely good to me. And um, uh, so I would say like New Jersey, uh, Chicago, of course, which is where I'm from. Um, I don't know. Like, there's, there's pockets of places all over the world, you know. I mean, I just got back from... Uh, a Southeast Asian tour like late last year and uh, that was incredible too. It was my first time in, in the Philippines and in Thailand and uh, it was my second time in Singapore and then I went to Japan as well so I mean yeah, it's a big world that, you know, it's what, what's beautiful about music is that it can bring people together from all, all different, you know, cultures and walks of life. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, I've got a lot. Um, um, I don't like when people call shoes sneakers. I, don't, I hate it. I hate it. That's, that's, that's like one of them. Other one is when people brush their teeth with their mouth open. So it's like the, like it's really loud, like amplifies the, the, the sound. I brush my teeth with, with, with my mouth closed. So. so don't ever brush your teeth around William Beckett. <laughs> with your mouth open, anyway. With your mouth open. Um, <laughs> what was your, um, what was the process in recording your new album? Uh, well, pretty much I spent most of it writing, you know, it was like writing, 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 get the songs where they need to be. I wrote like 40 songs for the album, and then uh, I chose 13, which was difficult to whittle down, but it made perfect sense in the end. Uh, and then, once I got in the studio with my producer, Mark McCluskey, it was really all about capturing the essence of the song, not producing for production's sake. So we, we wanted things to be very organic, very dynamic. Um, vocally, I don't use any tuning on the album. Um, I don't need tuning, really, on the album at all, but uh, I, I don't use it. I want it to be human. I want it to feel human, because I'm also, you know, it's like the organic sound of a, a live band in a studio mixed with more of like a modern approach of you know, sequencing and, uh, and you know, using like, uh, you know, like more synthesized, um, you know, like more like 80s s uh, synth instrumentation. So it's just, it's just really dynamic. I mean, I'm just really stoked on it. What advice would you give to musicians that are aspiring? Be yourself, you know, when it comes down to it, like it's, first of all, it's all about the songs first. Songs, 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 and then be yourself. Like if you if you've got like a weird thing with your voice that you you, you hate, try and embrace it instead. Because you don't want to sound like everyone else. I mean, th th you just won't stand out. And like especially with so many bands and so much competition in this industry, standing out is what is most important, really. Um, what has been the difference, in your opinion, um, from touring with a band to touring solo? Well, there's less people to piss me off. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's a little different, but I mean, I actually began when I started music in the first place. I started, it was like right out of high school, I went on a tour, a solo tour. I borrowed my, my dad's blue minivan and uh, just booked a tour out here on the East Coast, actually, with like no, with nothing but a bar stool and an acoustic guitar. And uh, that's where it started. And so I'm used to touring on my own. I'm, I'm used to being on a stage. I'm by myself, I, I, I'm comfortable there. But I, you know, I also love going crazy with a band as well. So, you know, those are some of the differences uh, are mostly, in my, you know, like in the way I'm going to perform. Because I'll perform much differently with a band. Uh, be more energetic, moving around, like freaking out. Whereas 
solo. It's more, um, it's more about the, the interaction and the storytelling. What is your favorite song to perform right now? Right now, my favorite, my favorite song to perform is my single, Benny and June. It came out just like a few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, I love it. It's I lo I, usually it's whatever's new I like playing the most. What is your guilty pleasure? The thing that you know is bad for you, but you do it anyway. Booze. <laughs> I drink booze. Quite a bit of booze on this tour, so. <laughs> um, yeah, just trying to. Moderation is the key, you know? Brian Dales. What would you be doing if you did not become a musician? Hello. Well, what I'd be doing is hanging out with this guy. Hey. That's what I'd be doing. Hey. Hey. I'm just crashing the interview. It's this is William cool. Beckett. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> um, what's your favorite Disney movie? Oh man, like Disney or Di or like Disney Pixar, like Whatever. old school Disney movie. Yeah, yeah. Beauty and the Beast. It's a good choice. Um, what have your fans taught you personally? Uh, just like the importance of dedication and devotion. You know, like. I I feel like I I owe it to my fans to be honest in my music and like that's part of the reason why I'm 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 doing what I'm doing now as opposed to being in the band is I felt like I wasn't being honest I wasn't you know making the best music I could so I started over again and um, I'm really really happy with it and it's brilliant thank you sweetie how do you usually prepare for a show I usually warm up uh, I have like a vocal route routine. I like to relax. Um, I usually have like a, a little bit of whiskey and tea and a bunch of water. Is that your drink of choice? Whiskey, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't really drink beer. There's like way too much beer on this tour, but, <laughs> but uh, whiskey, you know, and, and like I said, in, in moderation when, it, when you're legally able to drink. What are some of your biggest idols and influences? Oh, um, we, Brendan Flowers and the Killers, huge influence, particularly on my new album. Um, like uh, Robert Smith of The Cure, um, Morrissey is a really big influence. I mean, I could go on and on and on, really. Um, you know, I also f find a lot of influence in film, actually. Like, like uh, I oftentimes just I put a film on and I put it on mute and then I write lyric. Just like kind of inspired by the visual and, and like the emotions I feel from it. Can you tell a secret about yourself that maybe a lot of fans don't know? Sure, let me think. Um, um, I secretly like really enjoyed the, the show Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> How do you spend your time when you're not on tour? Just relaxing with my family. I have a five-year-old, and uh, I just like to spend time with my family and, you know, relax. I mean, I spend so much time out and about when I'm on tour, going out into the city. So when I'm home, I just like to chill out, relax, watch Netflix, uh, and play with my daughter. What would you say to your fans that are struggling right now with, like, some people cutting or body issues or anything? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've been through a lot of that as well myself, like, you know, in high school and then even after I went through like an eating disorder. Um, it's really it's really just about finding strength within yourself. I mean, as, as hard as it is to find, you have to dig deep and find it. And you have to realize that, you know, your life is, is worth living. Your life is worth worth uh, sharing with others, you know. And, and a lot of my strength did come from my outlet of, of writing and music, you know, like music was my main outlet. So my advice would be to just try and find an outlet. Like, like, what are you most passionate about? Do that. Immerse yourself in it because idle hands are, are the really, truly the, you know, like the devil's playground. Because, uh, you know, if you're wallowing in your self pity and your depression, it's just gonna get worse. Trust me. Like I've I've, I've been there, you know, time and time again. But, I'm you know, I'm in a really good place now, and it's because I'm so busy and I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. So find your passion and, and make that be what fills the hole inside you. 
Anything that you would like to say to the fans that are watching right now? Sure. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and Facebook uh, because I'm, that's pretty much where I share most of what I'm doing and thinking and going through. Uh, and my album's coming out on, on August the 20th on Equal Vision Records. And uh, I'm super excited about it. So come see me on tour.